What's up guys, in the last lecture we saw how to take input of various data types like int, float, uh, gar and string. Uh, when, we were, when we were working with strings, uh, we, ting uh, we took input as uh, words, as in only a single word we took as, as input. But suppose we had a string like this, hey, how are you, or something like this, a sentence. So, uh, we would think it of working in the same way as we did for words. As in, we'll think this is a string, so it should. Uh, we must first create a character array and then store it in it. So, let's try that. I'll write my basic structure first. I'll define a character array C and let's say size be 100 as in the maximum length. Uh, we'll write a printf statement saying enter a string. We'll take an input scanf percentage s comma c and we'll print again the input or string printf okay i'll write here input string is Uh, let's just execute a file. So compile and run. Okay, enter a string. Hey, how are you? Okay, let's see the output. Yeah, in it's saying input string is hey. So where is that comma and how are you? And a question mark gone. Okay, so what happens here is that uh, when we use scanf, it breaks the input when it sees a space a space or an enter so after reading an hey it saw there's a, a space here so it uh, broke the input so how do we handle this as in if you want to take input of uh, entire statement so there's a function which is defined in C uh, by the name get uh, gets and in the parenthesis it takes as an argument I'll put it in comment a character array ok so let's use this now I'll remove this scanf and instead of that I'll write gets the rest part remains the same and the character array is C so uh, let's now execute a file. I'll again write hey, how are you? So it's uh, giving me the output. The input string is hey, how are you? So thus we can handle uh, this. Also, there's a direct function to uh, to print the string on the output. Uh, it's function name is puts and again it takes as a parameter character array ok so let's try this I'll put this uh, as a comment firstly I'll write puts input string is and in the next line I'll write Puts C. Uh, C is a character array. Okay, so how does this work? Puts always prints the statement. That's a string here. Basically, it prints the string and takes the cursor to the new line. Uh, this is how puts work. Let's uh, execute a file. You'll understand it better. Enter a string. Suppose, hey, how are you? Okay, it's saying input string is and hey, how are you? 
see uh, the first puts inside the puts there is input string is so input string it it took the cursor on the new line then it printed hey how are you so this is how uh, puts works uh, one more use of the get func gets function is that if you want to restrict the user to give an input uh, as in uh, after uh, after an input the user must compulsory press enter only then the second input would be taken so you can use the gets function uh, this would be not possible in scan uh, scanf function since it breaks your input at space okay suppose that uh, you are told to take an input using the gets function only but the input is an integer so how would you do that so uh, as you know that gets function only takes a string as an input uh, so I there's a method uh, which is defined in C by the name ATOI ATOI and in the parenthesis it takes the string so what does this uh, function does it basically converts a string to an integer so let's try this out ok I'll give I'll write here enter an integer I'll take an input of it I'll, defi I'll define a new variable of i that is of the type integer int int i is equal to atoi and in the parenthesis I'll write a c since uh, the character here of the string and I'll write input integer is integer is okay and for printing and instead of yeah I'll write here a printf function that will be better so printf input integer is a percentage d for integer as you know and <coughs> sorry okay so let's execute a file and see compile and run okay enter an integer suppose I want 290 okay it's giving me input integer is 290 so by using this function ATOI you can convert string to an integer I'll put here a backslash n uh, for new line and now let's execute a file compile and run it's saying enter the values of a and b see now I'll uh, enter the values by uh, separated by a space since 1 space 2 so what happened a took the value of 1 and b took the value of 2 so after the space the rest thing it treated as a second input uh, so here the first input was for a so it took 1 as the first input and after a space break and the second input so 2 is our second input so this is how scanf works you can break using a space uh, or uh, by pressing enter ok so yeah that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one please do subscribe to our channel like our video and do provide your suggestions for our improvement thank you